What's going on YouTube? GS Nomai here. So in today's video, we're going to talk about iOS 12.1.1, 12.1 and iOS 12 in general and its jailbreak status and also iOS 11.4.1 jailbreak status. We're going to talk about a new upcoming uncovered jailbreak version with a lot of great features and we're going to pretty much clarify the situation about Cydia and Soric. There are a lot of people and websites claiming that Cydia is going away and we're going to clarify that. This video is brought to you by Wondershare and their software PDF Element 6 which allows you to edit, create and convert PDF files on your Mac. Check the program out in the link below and don't forget to check out their advent calendar where you can win gifts and discounts up until the Christmas through their paging here. Check it out in the link below. Now I'm going to start with the iOS 12.1.1, 12.1, iOS 12 and iOS 11.4.1 jailbreak status to get that out of the way. No, there is currently no jailbreak and you probably know that I make this updates videos every week to keep you updated on what's currently going on. So what is the current situation for this iOS versions in terms of jailbreaking as of December. Well, we're waiting for this vulnerability in here to be released. If you go ahead and here on iOS 12.1.1 on the security contents, you can see that there is the vulnerability by EMBeer. So the last one here on the kernel mentions EMBeer of Google Project Zero. This one seems to be a very powerful kernel exploit and says, quote, an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges, which means that it's possible that this kernel vulnerability would give a task for PAD zero, which is something very important for the creation of a jailbreak. So if you're running iOS 12.1, do not update to 12.1.1. That bug has been patched in 12.1.1. As of 11.4.1, it's very possible that the same vulnerability by EM Beer will be compatible with that. So for the moment, we're waiting for him to publish a write-up or the vulnerability or something. And as you can see, it's been attributed the number CVE 2018-4461. But if you go ahead and here, it says that it's reserved. So we're still waiting for and beer on that. And that is pretty much the current status of 12.x jailbreak and 11.4.x jailbreak. We're going to move on to this. Andrew Wick posted two days ago, quote, I have to recommend that everyone removes their saved PayPal info from their CD account until further notice. And this is as part of some bug that has been found in the Cydia store. Now, the Cydia store and Cydia are two separate things working together, or at least they worked together, because now Cydia store is closed. The problem with it is that they found a bug in the Cydia store, which allowed you to purchase Twix from Big Boss and other repos back in the days, you know, on iOS 9, on iOS 7, iOS 10, and so on. But unfortunately, the Cydia store hasn't been updated to work with iOS 11, and of course, this means that since iOS 11 has been released and jailbroken, Nobody used the Cydia store on those versions, and according to Soric, this hasn't been used for quite a long time. So people were no longer purchasing tweaks from the Cydia store through these repos, which means that the bug itself is a little bit moot because nobody could exploit it since there is no users anymore for the Cydia store. And it was scheduled by Soric for being shut down next week. Now, this has created quite a lot of confusion in the jailbreak community. A lot of people believe that Cydia is going away next week or that Cydia is dying or that now that Cydia store is no longer available, we will not be able to purchase tweaks anymore. What people do not understand is that Cydia store hasn't been used for purchasing tweaks and it hasn't been used as part of the jailbreak community for a very long time since iOS tend to be more specific. And it was scheduled to be shut down because it does more harm than good to Soric and of course to the jailbreak community. So yes, according to Soric, the Cydia store is indeed going away and it's no longer available. It has has been closed. However, the CDA remains operational and will continue to remain this way, so there is no need to freak out, nothing important is going away. He posted here a lot of information about what's currently going on and how some people in the jailbreak community over exaggerated the claims about the bug and so on. So if you're seeing an article on reputable Apple related websites that CDA is going away or the jailbreak is dying, it's completely bogus. There's nothing like that. Nowadays, the repos are implementing their own payment system, so you can purchase tweaks from packets and so on without having to deal with Cydia store. So it was pretty much moot. Now we're going to move on to the next topic, which is a little bit happier than the previous one. And we're talking about Uncover version 2.1.0, which is now available for public testing. Now pound to own has made this available as a pre-release. And the reason I didn't make a video about it right away is because this is not something that I would recommend for the average Joe or for the average jailbreaker. And this means that I definitely recommend you to wait for the actual release 
release of the version 2.1.0 but of course if you are the type of person that likes to test out things then of course you can definitely try those changes the IPA is available in here and this is pretty much what it comes with it does include a lot of bug fixes and stability fixes and it makes switching from the Electra jailbreak definitely easier now you no longer have to restore the root file system and it's definitely great so yeah the uncovered jailbreak is going towards being the best jailbreak of 2018 if it's not that already so yeah, this is pretty much it guys thank you for watching i really hope this video helps to clear out at least the cdi confusion and of course this is the weekly update on what's currently going on in terms of ios 12 and ios 11.4.x jailbreak i'm geosnow until the next time peace out